The tea room in the early days was a space set up for a tea ceremony, with part of the guest room separated by a folding screen. The person who invented the independent building as a tea room was a person widely known as the tea master, Sen no Rikyu, in the 16th century. The entire space leading up to the tea room is Mizan Sen. The guest will wait in the waiting room before he enters the tea room. The waiting room is a bench installed in the garden so the guest can see the garden. Then, from the waiting room to the tea room, he will pass through a small pub in the garden called Loji. Loji was intended to break connection with the outside world and to produce a fresh sensation conducive to the full enjoyment of aestheticism in the tea room itself. The state of mind that should be evoked by passing through the garden path differed by tea masters. Riki wanted silence. Another tea master, Kobori Enshu, was trying to create a state of selflessness. A small crack called Nujiriguchi is the entrance to the tea room. Lower your head and bend over your body and slide inward. This proceeding was incumbent on all guests, high and low alike, and was intended to inculcate humility. The tea room is about four and a half tatami mats in size and can accommodate only five persons. The simplicity of the tea room and its freedom from vulgarity make it a truly sanctuary from the vexation of the outer world. What is beauty in the tea room? Okakura Kakuzo said, True beauty is only found by those who complete imperfections in their hearts.